Yeah. One of 8,000 funded. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here at San Diego Comic Con 2019 here at the Transformers booth here with John. How you doing today? Oh, I'm doing awesome. I, you know, I love this event. This is great. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a fun time so far already, and you guys have been getting a lot of attention for I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> it's wow. Unicron! Yeah, Unicron time, man. <laughs> so I've, I've been gushing this whole time over the Unicron, and I just want to ask a couple little questions just about it really yeah, quick. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and and I'm sure you got a lot to, to share about it as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Any, any questions? Fire away. So, when transforming this guy, uh, does it? How many people does it take to transform it at one shot? Well, it depends. Like we, we, uh, the, the base allows you. Um, if you look over here, you can see the planet mode. The planet mode, you need the base to kind of hold it up. It's 19 pounds, so it's like a, wow. it's like a medicine ball. It's like a, it's it's beach ball size, as you can see, but it's it's like as heavy as like you go. You're going to the gym. So you kind of need the base to support it when you're converting if you want to do it by yourself. Okay. Uh, or you could invite a friend over and, you know, have some drinks, put on the 86 movie, and you kind of, oh, you, cool. you know, but, but all the, all the um, tectonic plates, if you will, they kind of pull out. They, they kind of lattice out in a real beautiful way and they fold back in. They all stay yeah. together. Okay, so the panels and stuff, that doesn't come off or anything? No, no, the only thing that comes off are the rings. You have to kind of, those oh. come off, and then you have to kind of re-key them together and then attach them on. Oh, okay, yeah. The, that... the big outside ring, that's a piece of it. But everything else is all integral. Like the back of the planet, it opens just like the movie, like where his hands like come out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty oh. cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> someone, someone was telling me that you guys actually like... That every every frame was looked at during the design process. Oh my God! Yeah. Try to capture the exact transformation. You know, we've been working on this thing for 18 months already. Yeah. So like last Comic Con, people are like, "Oh, you know, Predaking is cool, but you guys should do Unicron." I'm like, "We're already working on it." <laughs> but I couldn't say it. Uh, but um, you know, a platform like Haslab is really cool because this is like one of those things. Like a, when you're a kid, you dream about, oh well, man, it'd be really cool to have a Unicron toy. But it should be as, like it should be like the USS Flag. It should be like a big giant thing that is right. bigger than all your other toys. So we knew that the bar was already like really, really set, really high for this thing. But as we started to do it, we were running into like it's, it's physically big. Uh, Shipper is going to be huge. It's it ended up being 19 pounds. It's 27 inches tall. It's 30 inches in diameter. So it's like every time we try to um, change the, the robot mode, you have to increase the size of the sphere. Once you increase the size of the sphere, then the ring gets bigger. Because you can't like, you know, uh, Kuniero san touched on this um, in our panel. He said that, um, you know, with a car, you can kind of like make the car slightly wider and y your brain doesn't see it. You know, or you can hide the robot parts underneath and the undercarriage. Like when you're designing a thing, it turns into a sphere. Like there's no hiding it. And if it has to change in any direction, you can't make an egg-shaped sphere. Like you just have to make the entire thing dimensionally bigger, and that affects all the plates on it. And then those all have to go back in the legs. So it's just like, it's like this whole crazy puzzle. It's so that's the reason why it took so long. So if you change just one little thing, the whole thing has to change. Is that yeah, what it sounds like? yeah, 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 yeah. So um, there was a lot of going back and forth. We actually made like a big giant test model of this thing ahead of time. Uh, it's all smooth. You can see it on the pulse. Did that have, um, did that have a lot larger diameter and everything? Or it did. It, well, I mean, we, we had a, they had different. They had like longer horns and stuff oh, like okay. that. It was like a lot of weird stuff with it. Uh -huh. um, but we're actually gonna post a, we're gonna post a uh, conversion video of this thing on Pulse.com, oh, so stay tuned. Okay, um, so we're gonna pull all sorts of other cool content and, and like s special features and stuff like that in there. So if people are into Unicron, keep checking in on the Pulse because there's like, we're gonna keep floating all sorts of cool stuff up there on this thing. Awesome, uh, one thing I wanted to know, speaking of the size, is that uh, we had, um, I was wondering if, if it was smaller, would you have needed to do the HasLab backing project to make it affordable? Well, we, um, you know, we've done a smaller Unicron. It's right. it, the, the Armada one. It's it's a cute toy. It's cool. 
It's cute. He said, I used to worship that thing. It's, it's, my my it's, friend Sean Long had it uh, all the way at the top of his shelf, and I yeah. used to always look at that. It's thing. it's a very special toy, but, but yeah, you know, yeah, okay. but we but we knew that like um, yeah, I've said this to some other people at the convention. It's like we're not just going after your War for Cybertron Generations collector. You got you got the masterpiece guys that just collect masterpiece, or you've got pop culture guys that or or the guys that collect like the big high-end 3A studios, sideshow right. toys, things like you. We need all, we need to hit all those tangents. And so you can't like half do Unicron. So so yeah, we could have made him smaller, but it would have affected the, it would have, his legs would have looked wrong. You, we wouldn't have been able to have the mouth move. There would have been like a lot of things. We'd have had to sacrifice. Why sacrifice? You should be sacrificing planets to Unicron. You shouldn't sacrifice on Unicron. Excellent, I like, I like that, I like that. <laughs> I'm assuming it's gonna get back. I'm gonna back this oh, thing yeah, such and figure out how I'm gonna pay for it later. That's like my mentality right now because it's, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just too much. Well, like, I, mean, I, we, I, I think that a platform like HasLab is cool. If you, if, you know, Star Wars fans out there, like they funded that that sale bar. So as soon as that happened, we're like, and it in the way it worked was like towards the end, there were so many backers because people wanted to be part of it. And yeah. the thing about a crowdfunding project is it's not like it's not going to be released in mass retail. This is like the one chance to do it. So this is it. This is like if, yeah, it, if yeah, you meet yeah. if if you if you get them all made and and the and everything gets hits that eight thousand mark, there's that's it. That's it's not that. it's not coming back out. So it's like no variant colors or anything weird like no. that. No, I mean, this is a, they're not they're like, oh, once it's chulled, I'll buy it later. Like, no, this is the only time we're doing it. <laughs> wow. Oh, all right. So that's what makes it so special. It's like, you know, it's it's cool to be part of a moment in history. Like, I don't, I don't know if you're a GI Joe fan. Like, I was not really, but I, a little bit. It was that show that came on after Transformers. Oh, that was yeah. Like, that's that, that's that, true. That's that was, and then Cheers. Like that was my memory of Cheers. I think it was Transformers, GI Joe, and then Cheers at five o'clock. <laughs> that's, that's I don't know. It was a long time ago. Was, yeah, no, I, I remember like like Hill Street Blues would come on and that song would come on, and my parents would be like, it's "Time to go to bed, John." Oh, that was it. or Taxi to Taxi oh, music. Like, am I like? Yeah. I start to be tired. I still get tired when I hear that song. Yeah, anyway, I'm going mash. on a tangent. Yeah, yeah. Um. So anyway, it's like that moment in time in GI Joe. When you're like, you knew the kid down the street whose dad was a doctor or a dentist and had the flag, and you're like, you asked your parents, man, I want the flag. They didn't give you the flag. You know, they gave you the Terradrome or something like that. Like, this is our moment as collectors to be like, you know what? I can, I can do it. I can get Unicron now. And, and it's, it's exciting to be able to be part of it. And just like the flag, like when that moment's gone, like the flag never yeah, came so back. There's not yeah. another one. Yeah, no, you're <laughs> yeah. right. You're right. It's, like, it's yeah. that moment in time. That time is now. And it looks like you're like you understand that this is a historic opportunity. Oh yeah! And you guys are just going all the way. We gotta go all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, it's so it's so exciting. And there's so many cool features on this guy. He's got uh, cool posable hands. Uh, the ring, the thing on his, the other side. Once you once you go around and look at the other side of it, yeah. his mouth opens. Uh, it's all you yeah, know, individual gears and horns that come in and out. Um, his mouth moves, but then his teeth also move independently of the mouth, so you can actually make him like. Do that, or you can make a mouth open. So if you didn't want teeth, if you want a more movie actor, you can put the teeth away. You can actually move his eyes in the back like a creepy no painting. Way. Yeah, oh, man. it's really dope. It's awesome. Wow. So when you have him standing in robot mode, does he yeah. have to have the display stand, or no, can he stand no, on no. his own? We only have the display stand here because we don't want somebody to get really pumped up and like whack the glass and have him fall over. And he also helps him to like you know do cool poses, like a lot of other cool robot toys. You know, you'll see him like almost in super heroic poses. But no, all the shots that are on Pulse, I shot them, he's standing on independently. Wow. Yeah, and we designed his feet. It's hard It's hard to see when you guys go around the front, but his feet are designed in such a way that he has a really wide foot base and balance. So he's able to fully support his own weight. So you can get him into these cool, like Anthony Kiedis kind of poses if you wanted to. He has ankle pivot, I believe. He does, he's got ankle pivots, pivoting toes. Uh, he's, he's got a, a waist pivot. Um, uh, he's actually got like sh shoulder joints, so you can actually kind of do that oh, or, or wow. that. Like so, so he's got a couple of weird points of articulation. 50, 50 points actually in total. Wow. 
Damn, that, you said 50? 50. 50 points of articulation. Jeez, and I saw the fingers were all individually articulated too. Yeah, that's, that's, getting nuts. He's got a grasp uh, yeah. world, so yeah, that's gotta, important. Yeah, <laughs> this is incredible. One last question really quick, if you could yeah, tell yeah, us sure. a little bit about some of the other product really quick, because I know we, we spent most of all of our time talking about Intercronomy. Could you blame us and look at this? Yeah, thing. I mean, we're for Cybertron. It's being so well received that we actually decided to add a Wave 5. So we've got 8 Face with Spasma Headmaster, got a triple changing Astro Trains based on the G1 animation model. Uh, this got like a, it's got a launch pad that comes with it. And we've got some other uh, great reveals, exclusive uh, deco of, re of refractor. This yeah. based on the original 80s mail away. It comes with extra camera parts if you're a camera fanatic yeah. or if just like an 80s fanatic. It has a cool hollow foil box. Um, we got the Rainmaker Seeker pack of the, of, the, of the three different colored Seekers that attack in the G1 pilot. Um, and then, of course, you got Mega Supreme over there on display. Mega yes. Supreme, uh, you know, finally coming to life, uh, part of the fan vote some years ago. It makes perfect sense within the context of War for Cybertron. So if you're a War for Cybertron fan, make sure to check these things online, pre-order now. Um, and it's yeah. cool. If you, if you want it, you see a character. Come talk to me. Post in the comment section or, or talk about it. Come up to me at this convention. and it's, it's how these things happen. Awesome. So they're listening, you guys. Right on. John, thank you so much for your time. This is incredible. I've been geeking out this whole time. Oh, thanks. And I just love what you're doing over here. And I appreciate it. Stay tuned next time. San Diego Comic Con 2019. Hey, I'm sure of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.